Hi everyone. And um, today I just want to take you through another important uh, function in Excel, uh, which how to use columns and bar chart in Excel. Um, columns and bar chart is very important in Excel, especially when you want to uh, give a kind of graphical representations of your data to to. I mean, you have a kind of uh, data and you want to represent that data in a more graphical way. Um, I'm going to take you through each one of these uh, graphical ways of how you can use bar chart, pie chart uh, to represent and to present your data in a graphical uh, formations uh, and how it's going to look a little bit more presentable and how it's going to be looking more uh, good. So uh, let's quickly dive into this. Today we just want to cover what is called bar chart and columns. Um, that's our, that's that's my training today. And there are four things we have want to look into. We want to look into two D columns. We want to look into three D columns. I'm going to share with you what that means. And two D bars and three D bar. And if you for bar chart before you can do any bar chart or column chart, you must have your data. Let's assume that this is our data, the one that we want to represent in a graphical ways. Um, definitely we know the title of the uh, of each columns and uh, we have we have given range of data. Uh, we have amount one, let's call this one amount one, let's call this one amount two, and let's call this one amount three. So we have this data that we have at the moment. It's one of the things we just, this is just an hypothetical data that we just designed uh, to be used for this training. Um, let's go through to what we have to use 2D columns. 2D columns, what it does, uh, remember it's columns. Columns look at columns. This is columns one, this is columns two, columns three, columns four, and columns five. And to ascertain a column, this column is always starting from the top uh, top panel. As you can see here, uh, this is columns layout. All these sections from here down are columns, and these are rows. So, and before you can have any 2D columns graphications, you must first and foremost highlight the areas that you want to present as 2D columns chart. And to do that, once you are like that, the first thing you do, then you now go into your insert tabs on your top navigations on your Excel worksheet. And what you do, you go straight down to your, uh, what we call um, your chart, chart panel. You can see here. And under the chart panels, you have what we call uh, insert columns and bar chart. And you can see here, you can use this chart type to visually compare the values across a few categories. What does that mean is that when you click the arrows to see the different type of columns and bar chart available, and you post the pointer on that icon to see a previous one in your document. So what does that mean is that uh, this particular bar uh, columns and bar chart, you, what you do is that uh, you must it's just something that visually represents uh, the categories of data that you have highlighted. And uh, if you click that, you can see here, it's giving you about four options. And that's four options you want to, you see, this is the first options is that, which is 2D columns. Because when you click this cluster columns, what does that mean is that uh, this is how the surface of the of the of the shower will be represented and you can see what it does is compare the values across a few categories and uh, you can see the order of this category is not important that is what on that cross column and you can also use that as well so this particular one what is doing is what is doing i can see here is is telling you that on the rent you have the color for uh for blue is the um is the price for amount one that particular color is the price for amount two and that particular colors is the price for 
amount three so because what it does is separated the amount and the watch is telling you that on repair you spend that and what it's going to do it's going to summarize is everything from base small large and pull everything together in order to give you a graphical representations you can see here it has already given you the amount one which is uh, that colored the amount the amount two which is that colors amount three and that's the chart name and here you can you can insert anything you want to insert you can say this is uh, you can say this you can put because the product names so and um, you can see here the uh left axis and the and the it's like the y axis and the x axis as they always say and uh, this is telling you the the amount and it's telling you the amount where you spend more so you can see here on service chart is where we spend more on that visit um and you can see here we have the total amount is almost reaching 700 and uh, so this is how you can use a 2d columns to represent your data if you still go to your 2d columns you can change the surface you can see here yeah, there's more options for you to change the styles of how you want that data to look like and if you go back again to your to your styles you can change this one to stack columns uh, what is this is that the stack will just stack the expenses on, on each other um, so that's how all stacks means where has the uh, unrepresented stack columns we just stack all the expenses unrepresented this one is represented on percentage instead of the amount where this one is represented on the amount but what it does it will stack the amount uh, on each in each one of them it will start stacking the amount one on top of the amount two but sometimes this might be a little bit difficult to uh, to know actually what you actually spend so that's why people actually use the cluster columns because it separated the amount and you can see graphically how much you incurred where you spend more where you spend less so this is how to use um uh 2d columns in excel so if i quickly go to the next training uh which is 3d columns um if you still if you go back to your uh, chart again and um, you you go back to your inside columns go to your chart i want to use the 3d columns if i click 3d columns and it will tell you do you want to change that you can see automatically it has changed to 3d columns so this is how 3d columns will look like uh, because under the 3d columns uh, you can see here the way the bar is represented is extremely different uh, this is when you stack uh, 3d together uh, this is where you also stack 3d hundred percent and this is another options so it depends on how you want uh what 3 ds is just the layout so the layout is quite different from 2ds so you can see here graphical representations and we can use that graphic representations to to tell uh, you can see it's giving you the total amount and the expenses and the amount on each one of them that you killed and you can change this product names you can change there's more options here. Uh, you have the exit titles. If you want the exit title, it will tell you if you want to give title to the left axis. And the, it can also tell you the data the labels. If you want to label the data, actually how much you spend on each one of them. So you want it to appear on each data, it will tell you. And it also give you the, the, the data table. So you have chart elements that you can use to add to your uh, more information. So, but this is this is this is when you want to use colored different colors um, to represent your graphs. You can see um, once you pull out the data will continue to change, and this is what you can use. And um, this is how to use two uh, D columns uh, for your graphical representations. And um, if you now want to use Two D bars. Two D bars is the same things. If you go back to your applications, go to your insert tabs, and you click your two D bar. 
the only thing about 2D bar is that uh, the, 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 the presentation is quite quite different because it will present the expenses on the ax, on the x axis where uh, the amount is presented on the another axis so okay, so this is how it's going to look like when you use it to the bar but if you go back to the last bar which is 3d bar 3d bar we represent in 3d format presenting it in horizontal layout you can see here this is a 2D cluster. You compare the values across the categories and you use it when the chart shows durations, category text is long. You see, you see different presentations and it will immediately show she changed it. Depending, this is a cluster. And um, so, and you can also change it as well. So it depends on how you want to represent your data. You can use any one of these columns or bar to present your data. But in some abstract way, sometimes um, depends on how you want the presentations to look like, and you can change any kind of board data information. Anything you change from this data information will automatically be reflected on this data. So this is how you can use uh, columns and bar chart in Excel. I hope you guys enjoy this training, and I will see you in the next training. Bye for now. Take care. Have a great day. Take care, bye.